Right, the, the internet it has, confl has conflicting information about where you are from. <laughs> and I had some... Wikipedia says you're from Swindon. Sure. Oh, does it? Yeah. OK. Um, and another part of the internet says you're from Shoreditch. Yeah, but who the fuck is from Shoreditch? <laughs> <laughs> How is that possible? It said for a while on Wikipedia that I was born in Shoreditch. <laughs> but like, it's not, it's, this isn't possible. Um, I was born in Swindon. Okay. Is correct. Okay. And then did you go to school in Harpenden? Yes. Okay. Well, that you, just did seems... you, live, you lived in Harpenden for I a live, while? Well, I, just, I, lived, I did live in Harpenden for about six months. Hated it? Really hated yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. It is. And I tell you, if you're doing gigs in Hertfordshire, you probably know this. People fucking hate everyone in <laughs> And it's absolutely <laughs> solid gold if you mention, observational yeah. material. If you say everyone from Harpenden is a cunt. Right. Which, you know, checks out. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you went first, and then yeah. it turns out I'm from Harpenden. You got lucky. Yeah, what I, when I lived in Harpenden, like, it's quite, it looks like a nice place, right? I don't know if you know Harpenden. And I, I, I gigged there. And well, don't do that. We were looking for... This is before we, we moved there for a little while. Um, and there was a village green. There was a big parade going on that day as it happened. I thought, oh, this looks, you know, it looks it's like a town, but it's like a <coughs> village atmosphere. And I said to my wife, we should, maybe we were thinking of moving out to Hertfordshire and such. So maybe we should go. And, so we were having a house dump in London. So we went and lived in Harpenden for six months. It was the people there are the most self obsessed, horrible pricks. Yeah. Like you're walking down the aisle in the supermarket and people do not get out of the way. Yeah. So well, my parents still live there, but yeah. Yeah. Um, but, Absolutely. But, you know, yeah, fair Everyone enough. Everyone who lives there. <laughs> Good. I no, I do agree. Uh, it's full of that. It's yeah. full of that. It's a fucking nightmare. Yeah. Lots of my friends still live there as well, actually. <laughs> but I do... I would, I would agree with you. And I'll just assume they don't listen to this. OK, good. <laughs> good. Um, well, that's, that's sorted out, then. I was going to ask you uh, what the tallest building in Swindon was, which is what I often ask people about the place they were born. But the if you didn't live there... It's quite I lived there for, th for the first three years of my okay, life, well, so every building it. looked tall to me. <laughs> you should have seen it. <laughs> I don't fucking know. Uh, the Morrisons? Uh, I don't think... No, the Morris supermarkets, famously bungalows, aren't they? I They're one think, story. I don't think... Anybody know the tallest building in Swindon? Wow. Might come up and who wants to be a millionaire one day. <laughs> it's, I'll give you a clue. It's 272 feet high. No? It's the David Murray John Tower. Sometimes the, what? The, the, the David... The David Murray, Murray John, John Tower. Tower yeah. Is that three different men? <laughs> yeah, I think just... <laughs> David Murray and John. Let's all club together. You have the bottom third. I'll yeah. take the middle. <laughs> I think he was one bloke, but it's often called the Brunel Tower. There you go. <laughs> what happens there? Is the, have your research look, ended at the go, name? I don't go that. I've got the height and what it's called. That's all. That's the question. <laughs> I find out how much you know about Swindon. It turns out not nothing, enough. Nothing. Nothing very much about Swindon. That's good. Um... Uh, and when you Google you, um, some frequently, frequently asked questions come up, most of which I could find an answer to. OK. Uh, and, you know, I'm not, I'm not... Just one of the questions I couldn't find any other reference to, but is a, one of the frequently asked questions. Right. So maybe there is some truth in it. I'm not taking the piss. Just couldn't find anything else about it. Is, is Reese James deaf? <laughs> oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> OK, I think this is because... On um, Mock of the Week, RIP, uh, during the COVID shows, we had to wear earpieces okay. because we couldn't hear each other through the Perspex screens and right. we had to hear the Zoom audience, I think. And I was the only one who wouldn't play ball <laughs> and wear it in the ear that was facing away from the camera right. because for some reason, I don't know, I just, it just was unnatural to me to be in the right ear, so I put it in the left. And they kept saying to me, can you wear it in your right ear or everyone will think you are deaf? <laughs> And I kept saying, I don't care about that. And then now that's a frequently asked question. But is there not when you then click there's it on no Google, there's no answer? There's no answer. It goes to the Wikipedia page, which it does not discuss. Which doesn't answer whether doesn't or not discuss it at all. I just thought it was a... It, that's, I, it might, well, I thought I actually, people I just looked, you thought, that guy looks like say, he's deaf. Yeah, I, don't, I will say, I don't know it's because of the reason I just said I'm assuming that. <laughs> okay. Maybe I'm being generous. I don't know. But um, the okay. answer is no, um, I am not deaf. But like me, you have one of something that you should have two of. Yes, but I'm but, like but, you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've only got one kidney. Wow. How's that? Have you been able to do a, have you been able to do a show, write a show about having one kidney? No, I've, I've only ever had like one bit of material about it and it wasn't right. even very good. It was no. just a true story. But basically, I had a kidney removed when I was about 10 because it died. It stopped okay. working. My parents, I was at a friend's house on a sleepover 
And uh, I was just sort of staying, and it was just in my sleeping bag in agony because my kidney was failing live yeah. inside my body and causing me some discomfort. My parents were at a James Taylor concert. <laughs> and then we had to phone them and say, you know, come home because your son's fucked here. Yeah. And his side is in a lot of pain and he's pissing blood. Wow, okay. And then they were like, ah, it's, it's fire and rain. <laughs> 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 He's singing it now. I've seen fire and rain. And I was like, I've seen blood coming out my dick. Come home and take me to hospital, for fuck's sake. Um, and then the only really significant thing, it doesn't change, your, it doesn't change anything. It genuinely right. doesn't change anything. Uh, I'm not allowed to do karate. Oh, yeah, of course. Karate's loss, yeah. if you ask me. Yeah. Um, it was really easy to not do rugby at school. Okay. Uh, which good. I turned, years later, I found out was my mum protecting me. <laughs> so she, I was told, and the school were told, the doctors said, you can't do rugby at school, but she obviously just thought, this guy's a dweeb. Let's not put him <laughs> through that. So she just told the school that, and then I found out the doctors were like, of course you do rugby. Yeah. <laughs> There's like professional players with one kidney, it's fine. <laughs> um, but I just got to go on the computer for a bit instead. Well, that's pretty good. Yeah, and that's why I'm this pale. But, uh, <laughs> and then I think nothing else really, the only amusing, in, in Harpenden actually, yeah. when I was a teenager, I don't know why it was known that I had one kidney, like it was my legacy, but the, I think it was the Hearts Advertiser, yeah. a local Hertfordshire newspaper, which you all know very well, I do. I um, contacted me and said, so you, some people have one kidney, some people are born with one kidney, some get it removed, and you can function, obviously, with one yeah. kidney. And some people have four kidneys. So was, yeah, you can be, yeah, yeah, whoa, indeed. What yeah. the fuck? <laughs> How disrespectful is that to my kind? Yeah. Some people are just born with four kidneys and don't even yeah. know about it. And basically, somewhat, what happened is something like someone with four kidneys moved to Hertfordshire. <laughs> and the Hearts advertiser got in touch to say, we want to do an interview with you two together. <laughs> and talk about how different... I was like, how fucking offensive is that, by the way? As if you're going to say to someone... <laughs> as if you're going to say to Adam Hills, <laughs> do you want to meet this octopus? <laughs> I, I, I think I turned it. I regret turning it down so much. Did they, were, were they going to make you wee into jars yeah, to see yeah, who so could fill them up? Yeah. <laughs> you can force the yeah. yeah. I don't know what Man. the plan was, and I said no, because I was just like, this is ridiculous. But, I, I mean, obviously now you'd say yes, 100%, because you get a bit of material out of it. But oh, Four kidneys. Also, I want to meet the freak. Yeah, I mean, someone with four kidneys. I think I'd rather have one kidney yeah. than four kidneys. Exactly. How would you feel about having four testicles? Yeah, not good. Some people do have four <laughs> testicles, so I've got the same thing. Would you rather not have would you rather have one kidney or one testicle? Oh, one choose? kidney. Yeah. Fuck that. Yeah. Well, what's it like? Has it changed anything for you? Uh, no. I mean, it's the same it's the same thing, I guess. Can't you do sort of, you, sort of, <laughs> <laughs> you get to go on the computer a bit <laughs> instead of playing rugby. Don't play rugby. <laughs> it's the same thing that only that you know the safety one has gone, isn't it, for both of us? Right. Okay. So, yeah, although, so I you're suppose fucked. losing both testicles when you're 55 is probably it better, won't kill better than you. losing both. <laughs> both Whereas kidneys. if my kid, yeah, if this yeah. kidney, fought, I'm dead. Yeah. But they'll put yeah. you on a machine, when they'll put you on a dialysis machine. They won't just let you die. <laughs> well, depends where it happens. <laughs> you go for a transplant. You're... Anyone here? Yeah. Nah, not this crowd. Don't want one for one of these guys. Did your parents not uh, did offer to give you one of theirs? Well, I d no. <laughs> With my brother, really. I mean, a, pa a parent giving you a kid is a bit... You can't take it from your brother. You can't say, you can't have one kid. He has one. <laughs> so he has to have one, so that I can have two. He's, old, he's the older one. Share, you have to learn to share. You could cut one in half. Can you do that with kidneys? Can they cut them in half? I think grow, you can, yeah. Grow it's like one? worms. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the full kidney just grows immediately. <laughs> it's interesting. Interesting, we got, you know, it hasn't changed my life at all, except having one ball is funnier than having one kidney. It is definitely funnier. No one really cares. And like, the whole one kidney, people are just like, it's like, um, it's like your struggle being you once had appendicitis. <laughs> Everyone's like, yeah, you don't even need it. It's true. Loads of people in probably in this room will have only one functioning kidney right now and not even know about it. Right. <laughs> so sorry for the wake up call, guys, but, uh, but that's what, apparently true. One of you might have four functioning kidneys. Oh, though, so yeah. then think about that. And if you'd like to do an interview together, then be my <laughs> guest. <laughs> um, so, so a lot of people don't know that only one of their kidneys is working. Apparently. Well, maybe that was just to reassure me. As a child, but, yeah. <laughs> Everyone's like this, don't worry, you won't stand out. I got to have a water bottle on my desk at school. Right. And I was allowed to get up and go to the toilet whenever I wanted. Which sound like human rights, don't they? 
and yet it was something that everyone else was jealous of because you weren't allowed. In like year five at school, if you were like, can I go to the miss, can I go to the toilet? They were like, no. Why? Yeah, how mad, how fucking mad is that? Does, does what, having one kidney mean you have to go to the toilet more often than someone with two? Sure, you go less no. often. No, but only I was, one. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I was benefiting from a lack of understanding. <laughs> okay, that's good. <laughs> oh, good to see. <laughs> um.